Hey guys, Romley Superset here doing a quick tutorial video on how to make money fast in Ordering Chaos Online. I know I have a lot of people in my comments in my other Ordering Chaos series uh, basically asking, uh, Romley Superset, how do you make your money? Um, obviously I have no more, I just spent it on amount. Uh, but basically how I do it in my experience is there's a couple of different ways that I approach this is or first of all you need to utilize the auction house uh, to its maximum efficiency basically what I'm saying here is um, based on the time frame of where the game is at for instance if there's an update or if there isn't an update uh, if there is an update you're gonna want to min or mine some of the minerals around here in the lower level areas because the reason why is uh, obviously with the new race uh, there's gonna be a lot of low levels who need to level up their crafting in order to get their epic gear when they hit 60 uh, because of that you're gonna want to mine a lot of the minerals around here or get a lot of the granodyne or the fur over here uh, and then you're gonna sell those on the auction house and you'll see because of the update that those prices are gonna fluctuate um, if there isn't an update, then generally what I do is I go towards uh, the desert area or even the rift area to get some of the red minerals over there. Uh, I forgot their names. It's been a while since I've actually went to get money. Uh, but you can go ahead and do that. Or you can get some of the um, other materials like the fur or the cloth of that level bracket as well. Uh, and then you just sell them in the auction house. And they actually sell for quite a bit. Uh, another way, uh, here I'll go ahead and uh, pan over to another screen here. One second. Alrighty, and now here we are, we're going down to where we get our dailies for your max level when you're 60. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to actually get these dailies here, you're going to perform them, complete them, turn them in, and you're going to get these soul signets. Uh, here's where you get the dailies right here. Uh, this is, they're going to be obviously blue, I already have them um, taken, so I already have my quest log and whatnot. Uh, but once you do, uh, you're going to have these quests here. Uh, let's see, wanted by... Ariurimoko, <laughs> Mocha, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, but basically when you do these, uh, you have some of the dungeon ones, and then you have some of the ones where you just grind on some mobs, and then you turn them in. But what you're going to get, you're going to get these uh, Essence of Soul Signets, and once you use them, you're going to get quite a few here. Um, let's see if I can go into my attributes real quick. Uh, so I only have 50, but there's people who do this every day, and they get quite a bit per day. Um, I can't tell you exactly how much. I think it's upwards of 70, maybe even more nowadays. Uh, I think they keep adding some more each update. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to collect those. And once you do, um, the the most popular thing to do right now, which is Soul Signets, to make money, is to basically buy uh, these lava... Let me see what they're called. Lava cores, I think they're called. Uh, flaming hearts are completely off. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to buy these flaming hearts. And they're going to sell for quite a bit in the auction house. Uh, they're only 30 signets each. So it's actually not a bad price. Uh, because that's maybe like two a day at most. Uh, maybe even more. Like I said, there might be more dailies now where you get more soul signets. Uh, per day uh, and you can buy these flaming hearts you sell them in the auction house or you can sell them uh, via the chat box here uh, you just go ahead and say selling uh, the flaming hearts for you know for best offer or whatever you want to say or you can actually go to the auction house see how much it is there and then auction it out on the chat box here and see if someone will pay a little bit more uh, a lot of people do that too or they can go even cheaper there and advertise it there uh, that way you can sell a lot faster if you like uh, so let me go ahead and go to the auction house and show you guys what the price Prices for the Flaming Hearts right now. Alrighty, we're at the auction house. Let's go ahead and look up the Flaming Hearts. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to the type. We're going to go to material, I believe. Uh, and then we're going to go to. We'll just do all. For, we'll do others for now and see if that comes up. Uh, armor scraps, armor scraps. Uh, and you can see here that you can sell these armor scraps uh, for quite a bit as well. Uh, they're also required for the crafting in case you want to make money that way as well. You're going to get it while you grind anyways. If you're killing mobs all day, you're going to get quite a few of these and you can sell them for like 10 gold a stack or even more based on the type you get. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got goods. Maybe that'll be where it is. Nope. Uh, let's see. We got leather. Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the prices of the ore or the silver or whatnot is. Um, let's see if we can go to some of the beginner ones here. So you can see here, this stack of 19 bronze mineral runs for 20 to 50 gold. Um, let's see what else we got here. And you can see quite a few of them are sold out. Uh, obviously, this one's only two to three. So uh, you'll go in here, go to your auction house, and look at, find out which one is the one you need to mine to get the most money. Um, 
Looks like light silver is pretty good right now. Uh, they're sixteen forty nine. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, it looks like light silver is pretty popular right now to sell for money. There you go. You got the magical blood minerals. Uh, they sell for quite a bit there. Uh, those are actually pretty hard to find in the rift. Um, I found like a, a whole entire stack and I sold it for quite a bit. I think I sold it for amount, that, that amount right there actually for an entire stack. Uh, I probably sold it really low. Uh, that's why I probably sold it so fast. Uh, but I mean, you kind of. You can't like just get greedy and put it for like 500 gold and expect it to sell within the next day. Uh, so a lot of times you're gonna have to go a little under what the actual price people are asking for is. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And then we got let's see the flaming hearts. I need to find out where exactly this is. Uh, formula mini? No, wouldn't make any sense. Rete material. I'm assuming it's in the material somewhere. Let me go to quality levels here. There it is. Okay. So you can see here that each Flaming Heart runs for around 200 to 300 gold each. Uh, that's pretty impressive. If you need money, that's the fast way to do it. Uh, unfortunately, you need to have a level 60 to do so. Um, but, I mean, if you can save up those soul signets and get a bunch of these, you're going to have quite a bit of money in no time. Especially if you underbid these guys. Say, uh, the lowest one right here I see is 222, 259 for a buyout. I would probably put it for 210, 240. Uh, and then it would probably sell pretty fast because it'll be one of the lower ones. Uh, you can see here there aren't many flaming hearts on the auction here. I'm sure there are quite a few being posted you know, continuously all throughout the day, but people are constantly buying them to get their epic upgrades for their lava weapons or equipment or whatnot. Um, and let's see. And then the last way that I am aware of to make money, um, let me go ahead and switch over to the next area here real quick. Alright, so now that we're here, um, the next way to make money is to basically go to the vendors over here in the um, dungeon entrances, and you can actually buy uh, these recipes. Uh, the most expensive ones that sell in the auction house are actually like the shoulders or maybe the chest. Um, so those are the ones you're going to want to go for, but as you save soul signature, you're going to be able to get those items, those recipes, and sell them on the auction house for quite a bit. Uh, some of the shoulders sell for like 1500 gold, especially for like, uh, I don't know, the divine monks. Uh, their shoulders uh, are for an insanely amount of gold. That is why my military monk is a military monk and still does not have a epic shoulder for his military monk or divine set. Um, I actually have everything but the shoulders and chest on my uh, actually divine set here. You have the hood, I have the uh, pants here. I got the robe for some drop in a dungeon. Uh, I got basic shoulders um, and then some other gears in my chest. But I have all the epics except for the chest and the shoulders because there's so much um, on the auction house. And in order to get them, your best bet is to go and save up the soul signatures and buy them yourself. But if you already have them, I would suggest you do... Um, these um, dailies get the soul signets and then uh, do the dungeons as well, obviously. But then you can get the recipes and sell them on the auction house uh, for quite a bit. Uh, see, I got an invite here. Sorry, guys, I can't go. Uh, let's see. Sorry, can't right now doing a video. Alright, and it's actually there's one more or maybe a few more ways I uh, thought about as I was running over here. Um, basically how to uh, make some money. Uh, let me go ahead and go to the next area real quick. Alrighty. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Thistle Villas Outpost. Uh, where that is located at, it's in the rift. You're going to teleport to the Bull Rinto Outpost here. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna follow this road up and you're going to end up in this little town here. Uh, what a lot of people do is they actually um, kill a bunch of these guys uh, just to simply uh, collect the loot. Um, and the gold, obviously. Um, it's like 12 silver per piece. So I don't know, 6 or 7 or so. You're going to get a, a, a gold for every six or seven you kill. Uh, that's pretty good in my opinion, um, especially if you're doing this all day. You're gonna get quite a bit of gold, and every now and again, if you get lucky, you're gonna get a general symbol. I've gotten like two or three here over my period of playing this game. Um, obviously, I haven't been 60 for very long on this guy, 
But uh, on my military monk, I've gotten two or three. Um, that's pretty nice, I would say, because they actually sell for quite a bit nowadays, especially now that um, it actually is required to level up your crafting uh, to max level. Uh, so that is really important to make money there. Uh, it's those general symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the loot here. Oh, there you go. Composite bow of water. Ah, oh, not too shabby. That's actually pretty good, I would, I would say. Alrighty, let's get rid of something. Uh, blah, I don't know what to get rid of. Uh, that claw. Get away. Pick that up. So you can see here, it's 11 silver. 11 silver. Yeah. Yeah. You can get some mage cloth. You can sell it on the auction house as well. Uh, you're going to get a lot of that mage cloth, I tell you that, because you're killing these um, humanoid type mobs and they're going to drop the mage cloth a lot. Um, so you're going to get quite a few stacks of that, be able to sell that for some, some a couple gold, uh, collect the gold on the mobs themselves. Plus you're going to have like drops like the general symbols like I was saying, that's going to be quite a bit of gold. I don't know how much they sell for now, probably like 300 apiece since it's like so important for crafting and progressing throughout the game. Since you need to be able to upgrade to epic gear in order to get some of the high end dungeons uh, going for yourself. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the next uh, sequence here so I can tell you about the other ways of making gold here. And kill the guy real quick. Get out of here. Alright, be right back. Alright, so the next way to make some money is the most standardized way. It's basically doing some quests. Um, you have the dailies once you hit 60. But obviously if you're not 60, if you start doing the high-end quests, you'll notice you're starting to get a lot of gold from them. Uh, especially in the rift, you get like one, maybe two gold per quest. And then when you get to level 60, you have these dailies, which I think there's like seven or eight, maybe even more now uh, in the rift. Uh, this one right here is like three gold, three silver for the one quest by itself. That's pretty good. Uh, I have another daily that I got in the same area. I'm going to go ahead and look it up real quick. Uh, the Black King, uh, that's where you kill a dragon down by the Black Beach. Um... You're going to actually get four gold and four silver for that. And a lot of these dailies give you a substantial amount of gold. And if you do it every day between all your characters, that's a lot of gold. Uh, I would say on top of maybe 50 gold per day. I haven't done them all at once, so I don't really, I'm not sure exactly how much you're going to get per character. But you have four slots. Right, right, you have four slots, maybe five. <laughs> I don't remember. But if, so say you have four slots of characters, you're going to get 200 gold at least a day. Um, so that's pretty good. That's only if you're level 60, obviously, um, for each character. But if you are, that is a, a way to make gold right there. Um, another way, let me go ahead and pan over there real quick. So the last and final way I can think of to make gold real fast. Oh, this one's actually really not fast, but. This is the way where basically if you don't want to spend hours at a time grinding, doing your quests, or doing your daily quests for your soul signets or whatnot, and you kind of just want to log on, let it sit there, and um, make gold that way, this is the way for you. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to these areas where the rare spawns spawn, and once you get there, you're basically going to sit here and wait for these guys to show up so you can kill them. And I think there's like a 100% chance for it to drop a general symbol. So once you do that, you get that and you sell a general symbol in the auction house. Or you can sell it here on the chat. Um, but basically, that is the way to do that one. Because um, the general symbols sell for quite a bit, like I said before. Um, upwards of like maybe 300 gold. Uh, so yeah. Uh, well, those are the ways that I can think of personally how to make gold pretty fast. Uh, if you guys liked this, go ahead and like, subscribe, and definitely stay tuned for more. See you guys later.